Good Wednesday, everyone, and welcome to the forexbow.com. Victor with you here once again with another idea for this week. It's a short term idea based on the Australian versus New Zealand dollar currency pair. Before we start, as usual, I would like to remind you that information in this video is only for educational purpose and should not be considered as a financial advice. As a rule, we will move back to the trades ideas that we had previously, starting with the Canadian Japanese yen. On the Canadian Japanese yen, this is a long term view. So basically, we are expecting this sort of move to the downside. The entry was there. So still, still, we are up for this trade in the long run. This is the key resistance and the, only the daily close above can invalidate the bearish scenario. So for now, we're still holding this short position. See Swiss franc, Japanese yen. Here is quite an interesting picture because price has actually broke above but failed to close above. And still we're holding this level of 200 moving average. It is will be important to see whether price will be closing above this level or not. The previously made high at uh, 111.30 on the daily chart. If so, hard stop loss just above this high, and then we 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 will need to see what will happen. Now moving on to the euro Australian dollar, our trade was initiated there. Stop loss here. We are on this for the quite a rally to the downside, but. I think that stop loss can already be moved to the break even to secure the profits since we return back to the profit zone some profit taking also a good idea as usual but stop loss at break even could be pretty well uh, working pretty well to defend uh, the trade against the loss the last trade we had on Monday was pound versus New Zealand dollar it was extremely nice trade since Price went exactly to the point where we expect it to be. So the target reached. And this is the reason we're actually having the Australian versus New Zealand potential trade idea. Because it seems like New Zealand dollar might be getting weak. Now let's move on to Australia and New Zealand. We have only one chart here and it's a four hour chart. What we have is clear strong strong very strong uptrend and this is the reason why this tendency is likely to continue is because it remained above the uptrend trend line now if i move to one hour chart we can see that 200 exponential moving average has been rejected very nicely price failed to close below produced the spike and failed to close below the spike and this is quite an interesting setup because for this scenario to work out, we need Australian versus New Zealand dollar to produce a new higher high. You can see that there is a minor resistance formed at this level, at this price area, which is 1.0735. Because we're looking at one hour chart and the bounce of the moving average on one hour chart, we need one hour candle to close above 1.0735. This will be the trigger point for this trade to go long. Moving back to forward chart, how we found the target. The target is based on Fibonacci retracement level, two of them, 161.8 and 261.8. Both of these FIBs were applied to the last two correctives wave to the downside. And we see that there can be a massive resistance at 1.0852, which can make this trade a potential 120 pip uh, move. And for now, we're still holding, waiting for the hourly close above this resistance, minor resistance. And as soon as it happens, the trade will be valid. There might be another pullback. I I cannot, you know, just ignore the fact that sometime price goes spikes lower and we might even spike towards this trend line which means that the stop loss must be below 1.07 area because this is exactly if the spike hits it should test this key support and it's actually also a psychological level 
So for now, we are waiting for the one hour close. If it triggers, take profit would be 120 pips, and that would make it about 60 pip top loss, which can be placed at approximately 1.0675. That would make it two to one risk reward ratio and should work pretty well. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this trade idea. We will see whether it will trigger or not, but um, I'm glad to see that the pound versus New Zealand dollar has reached the target, worked out very nicely, and hopefully we will see the same for the Australian versus New Zealand dollar. If you like the video, click the like button, subscribe for our channel to see more great ideas uh, this and next weeks, of course. Take care and profitable trading to everyone.